Hey, how's it going YouTube? Matt here. Today we're going to be talking about the DJI Osmo Mobile, the three axis gimbal that's going to help you get the very best results out of your photo and video. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing and smashing that like button. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start really walking fast here. And as you can see, I'm actually running fairly fast down a hill, but this thing is really doing a really good job of stabilizing the video. But there we go. So now using this tree as a point of reference, I'm going to hold down the lock button and it's going to actually lock on to this image here and I'm going to shake it back and forth and it does a tremendous job not moving the, the camera and locking on to the target that I'm designating. Just like that. And what we'll do is we'll do the same thing on a different target and do it up and down. And I'm going fairly fast doing decent squats here just to kind of show you what this is all about all right enough I'd also like to show you all the incredible ease of achieving a really cool cinematic sequence with this amazing little piece of technology here we go So with that being said, let's return to home base and we'll go into it a little bit deeper. I just got back in time after doing all my footage and stuff for today, so we're kind of lucky. So with that being said, I'm going to relax and have a beer, which is well deserved, by Deschutes Pacific Wonderland Lager. So good. Get it if you see it in the stores. But in my hand, I have the Osmo Mobile. And it is easily one of the best things that I bought recently next to my Mavic Pro, which I'm also going to provide a link in the bottom along with this thing. But as you can see, I already have my phone attached to it. And I am using the iPhone 7 Plus, which works very, very well. So I'm going to fire it up. And before you do that, make sure your phone is relatively balanced. It's not going over the edge, it's, it's kind of staying in a neutral position. So it makes it more stable, okay? All right, let's fire up the camera. So when you open it up out of the box, it's gonna require you to download their firmware. Um, you're also gonna have to download their DJI Go app. Not, it's not the Go 4, if you have the Mavic Pro or Phantom or Inspire. Um, it's a separate app, basically just for the Osmo series. It's fine. I personally don't use it um, because it, it makes it really hard to find the files through iTunes when you connect the phone to the computer and dig through all that stuff. 
I just use the straight up camera app. Works like a charm. Um, I use a Mac um, and my iPhone. They pair seamlessly, so I just airdrop my files right through the uh, right through Wi-Fi. Takes two seconds, and there's no loss in quality, which is great. So, with that being said, let's kind of talk about the the gimbal here. So, I'm going to kind of explain how to lock onto a target by using this trigger. So, depending on the light source, it's doing its best to to keep a neutral position of where I designated. So it doesn't ever lose sight of that. You can do it left and right, up and down, but as you saw out in the field, it's much brighter. It's becoming uh, a little bit more dark with the clouds and stuff. So um, you, you saw that footage and that's that works really, really, really well. But that is activated through this trigger right here. Kind of like an N64 controller trigger kind of nostalgia. It's pretty cool. And to pan, there's a little toggle switch right here. So up is down and down is up. Right is left and left is right. Now it, it doesn't go that fast when you're panning, but it works well because when you're doing cinematic shots you don't want something to be really really jerky you want those nice fluid motions to kind of get that nice scenery um, that I've kind of shown you in, in this tutorial but it's a super easy awesome to use device and it's really changed the way I see just landscape photography and videography it's really helping out especially as being an amateur um i would i would recommend it for anybody and don't settle for something that costs 150 bucks or 200 bucks this is this is a, a 300 dollars device but it's absolutely worth it because you're paying for quality and dji is a really great brand um but yeah, check it out. I'll provide the link below. Click that and, you know, let me know what you think in the comments. This is really kind of my first tutorial and, you know, with the equipment that I have um, right now, it's the best I can do for you guys. If you have any questions, though, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Peace.